So, like, I was on Instagram the other day, and I just happened to come across this thing where it showed, like, all female arborists or all female tree cutters. And I said to myself, whoa, that's kind of crazy. They're doing a quote-unquote man's job right there. I mean, this is something you don't see all the time, right? I mean, look at these chicks. They're doing a male's job. They're cutting down trees for a living. That's some real hard, difficult, and life-threatening work right there, right? But there's a big catch to this all. I did some research on some of these quote-unquote women arborist businesses, and here's the catch. A lot of these female tree cutting companies only cut trees under a certain size, or they outsource all the quote-unquote hard trees to the male businesses, or they simply won't accept work from a life-threatening tree. So what they do is if they find a hard tree, they'll outsource the difficult trees to the male businesses. Like say if the tree is difficult, like they gotta go way up there, or there's power lines running through the tree or something like that, or there's valuable objects underneath that are worth a lot of money, they outsource the hard trees to the male businesses. Take a look at this chick right here. This picture shows you everything you need to know. You think this little hot SDS chick knows how to cut down a big old massive tree? I don't think so. She could probably do like a weeping willow or a little birch tree or something like that. But if it's a big old redwood or something like that that's like 200 feet tall, this sucker ain't going near it. I mean like these chicks have no problem chopping down a 30 foot birch tree. You know, that's no problem. But what if it's a 150 foot redwood tree? that has valuable objects underneath it. Or, you know, it's got like a big old power line running through it, or even a power line 10 feet away from the tree, and they gotta climb way up there. They ain't touching that crap. Another trick these quote unquote all female arborists do is if a tree is too challenging, they find them a one day slash and burn male worker at the Home Depot to do the dangerous up high work while all the crew of female workers are on the ground, raking up the leaves and throwing away the branches and little tree chipper thing. That's crazy right there. But you see, that's what women do. They pick and choose what they want to do in life. If something is easy and it still gives them that quote-unquote doing a man's job title, they'll take it. All these women businesses suck up to their own gender to be different, yet they won't take a difficult job. But men on the other hand, they don't get to pick and choose their battles. If something needs to be done, they have to take it because they need the money. <laughs> hey, look at us. We're female and we're cutting down trees for a living. We're doing a man's job. So if you own an all-female business and you're discriminated against against men, hire us. Well, we'll come out and we'll cut down like your business tree right in front of your business. It's like 30 foot tall and you pay us double because we're all female. Let's go into a good cause, right? And I see what all these female tree cutting services are trying to do. They're trying to cater to the hardcore feminists and all the lesbos who only want to support badge companies. But their services only go so far. They can service like 40% of the trees out there. But here's the bottom line right here. If you need an arborist who will actually service all the trees no matter what the situation is, you better call a man. <laughs>